Welcome to my channel, Diana411. This video, I'm coming at you guys with a DIY type of video. Um, do it yourself, wall art, home decor edition. So as you know from my last video, I did move out, but my apartment is still empty. <laughs> as you can see from behind me. And what's a home without some wall art, right? Yeah. So if you are not so artsy fartsy, but you're on a budget and you wanna throw a little flair and flare a little something in your home, continue watching. Let's get in the video. By the way, everything will be in the description below on where you can find it. I got most of my stuff at Michael's, but you can go on Amazon for anything cheaper. But enough of me talking. Let's get into the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, go ahead and lay out your canvas. Make sure it's in a place where it's not on the floor so you don't get the paint on the carpet. Next, you're going to want a plate or something to put your paint on. Go ahead and grab your brush. You might want a second brush for a smaller one. Um, I chose the colors green, dark gray, a light gray or medium gray. Um, I did some gold, that's my accent color. I did silver, and I also threw some cream in there. So that is going to be my color palette. You can choose whatever color palette uh, is best for you. Um, but uh, the green was a metallic green, and it wasn't really dark enough the way I wanted it to be. So I went to go ahead and, you know, Put some green on my plate um, and I also mixed it in with some metallic black or you can just do black. Um, I was going for more of the midnight green kind of winter green color. After mixing your black and green, or in my case, I was mixing my black and green together to get that winter green, you want to start on the outer parts of the canvas first. So either the top or the bottom, um, but you want really, you know, whether it's green to be your highlight. Um, after that, go ahead and just stroke down. Um, you do want the ends of it to be wispy as I call it. Um, so just light flickering strokes um, up and down. And now you don't want them all to be like solid green. You want kind of like the faded green. Um, you know, this is like an abstract painting. So nothing has to be perfect. Better yet, imperfect is perfect here. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top, a little bit at the bottom. You can also do the sides, wherever you really want to go. There's no wrong to this. Um, just, you know, play on the weight on how much paint you put on the brush. And just go everywhere on the canvas. finished with your base color in my case it is green um, go ahead and wash your brush just swirl it up in a in a cup full of water and damp it with a towel
go ahead and take your dark gray, um, 50 shades of gray over here. Go ahead, squirt out a good amount. And when you can still use your big brush for this um, because the majority of the canvas is not painted yet. Um, so go ahead. Right. So when you grab your dark gray, you want to go on the outer parts of the green. Um, it is a darker color than the green, duh. So you don't want to cover it. Um, so just go on the outsides of your green splotches. Again, play with the weight. Make sure that the ends of it are wispy. You don't want any solid cut lines in this painting. Now there's not a right or wrong on how much dark gray or black or whatever your darker color is to put around the painting. Um, I just wanted to basically cover the sides of the green um, to kind of like be a, an outline for my green strokes. After you're done with your dark gray color, go ahead and clean your brush again. So just swish it in some water and then dab with a towel or a paper towel. Um, if you don't get the color off again, it's okay because we are blending all of these colors together. By the way, I'm still using my big brush for now at least. After grabbing your medium lighter gray, you want to go ahead and obviously put some on your plate. And for this color, you want to go ahead and start filling in the whiter areas um, of the canvas um, and kind of mixing it into your black or darker gray area. Um, so the purpose of the medium gray is to really start covering up most of the white space. At the end, you really want the entire canvas to be colored. You don't want any of dead space of like showing up. So use, again, use the same, same stroking, wispy strokes everywhere. You don't have to go too overboard with the gray. You don't want to make it seem too sad. You know, you want to keep somewhat of a light color, the black and kind of make it softer. Go ahead and grab your cream color and we're going to take care of that extra white space now. This is the time to really cover it up with the cream color. So feel free to go wild. Um, but not too wild, obviously. You just want to focus it more on the whiter areas. You can kind of blend it in to not make it so harsh, but stay away from, you know, the green and stuff. Just focus on covering that white space. Next, you want to grab your silver color. Um, so I wanted to make this painting a little sparkly. Obviously, I don't have sparkles. Um, but I wanted to add some shine into it since it kind of looks dull with all the gray and black. So 
I added in a little metallic silver and this is just going to be really my accent color on if the sun hits the painting a certain way it'll kind of shine a little bit so I'm just like literally putting it in random places on the painting um this time you can actually use your smaller brush um, as your accent colors we're pretty done with the base painting uh, since the whole thing is covered so I'm just gonna add silver a little here a little there majority of my silver is uh, just on top of the gray color in last step is your gold color so I didn't know if I wanted to mix it in with anything else so I kind of tested it for the gold I tried to mix it in with some other colors but anyways it didn't really work out um, <laughs> so I just use it as is and kind of put literally any pressure not like no pressure and just kind of let the paint and the brush take over um, so I really wanted to use the gold to kind of just have that pop of color and that good accent. You don't want to put it everywhere and overdo it. Just like after that, you are basically done. Go ahead and you can return back to your original color that you wanted and mine was green. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over with my green color. Just kind of make the green more pop out. Um, in some areas that I just wanted to look better but this is the time where you can just basically fix any thing that you feel like you need to fix again you guys enjoyed the video um we made this really amazing art together but anyways um let me know thumbs up and a like the comment if you want to see more like this comment below let me know if you tried it out was it cool was it lame let me know if it was lame tell me the truth uh, but anyways, subscribe to my channel because I've been making videos every Wednesday. Um, so I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Diana411, out. Go. Oh, I'm trying to make my outro.